Hi, I'm Joey Luke from Tony Luke. And if you're watching this video today, it's because you've received one of the best gifts anyone can get, the Tony Luke at home experience. Right now, I'm gonna to describe to you what comes in the box. This is our cheesesteak package. You get 24 slices of American cheese, 24 ounces of 100% pure ribeye steak, 12 ounces of fried onions, and Italian par-baked rolls. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is how to properly cook these rolls here. First things first, you wanna make sure that you're cooking them from a frozen state. So to cook these from a frozen state, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And you just wanna make sure that when you load them in, you leave enough gap in between them so that you get a good air circulation. Put it on for seven minutes. Once the rolls are done cooking, we'll bring it right out. What you're looking for is you're looking for a nice golden brown color on these rolls, okay? Please be careful, they are gonna be very, very hot when they come out of this oven, okay? They'll have a little bit of a hard texture on the top. Okay, so we're gonna cook up the ribeye steak, okay? What we wanna do is each sandwich that we're gonna use is gonna use four slices of product. Now, you don't have to do it this way. I mean, you can cook everything up at once. You're more than welcome to throw them in there. That's not a problem, okay? So you wanna cook this from a frozen state you don't have to, you can have this thaw out, that's not a problem, just make sure you give yourself at least a 24 hour window there to get this thawed. I'm gonna use 100% canola oil. The reason that we use canola oil is because canola oil does not have a taste, so you're really gonna get all the flavor from your steak meat, okay? And we're just gonna throw it down, okay? Just like this. I'm gonna use a spatula here, I'm just gonna rip them apart, okay? Just like this, all right? And let it cook. Now, you're pretty much just gonna cook it for about a minute, minute and a half on both sides. It's not a problem, okay? You just wanna cook this until all the pink is gone. I'll flip it over. As you can see, it's starting to turn brown, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cook, okay, a little bit, all right? And while this is cooking, I'm actually gonna turn my stove top down a little bit, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cook our fried onions as well. Now, these onions that you're gonna receive they're coming in frozen, okay? And you're gonna want them to thaw, okay? Now, these are not fully cooked. What they are is they are seasoned, though. Throw a little bit of canola oil in my frying pan, and then I'm just gonna dump my fried onions. These are seasoned with salt and pepper, and what you're doing is you're cooking these onions until they're a translucent, okay? You're gonna get a nice little golden brown tint to it, okay? But you want it to be translucent. Give it a little crisp. I know some people who love their onions a little bit more on the burnt side, that's fine. Now for your onions, you wanna make sure that we mix them as much as possible throughout the process, okay? We don't want it to just sit there unless you're into the burnt onion thing, and that's fine, that's not a problem, okay? Okay, an onion is filled with so much water, and then when you start to cook it, okay, you're gonna get all the juice to come out. That's not a problem. All right, looks fantastic right there, beautiful. Little bit of salt, boom, boom, boom. Little bit of pepper. My, my frying pan is now turned off, my stove's turned off, okay? We're already at temperature, we're cooked, we're ready to go, okay? Now that we're good, we're gonna take our roll, okay? Always cut on the right side of the roll, just like that, okay? Fantastic. Now this is a Philly cheesesteak right there. As you can see, we cooked off Quite a bit of that water, okay, that came out of that bag, which is completely normal. Come over here, here's our steak. I'm gonna take my roll. Right there. Just like that, okay? And for me, I'm an onion guy. I love them, can't get, a wet, can't get enough of them. I'm gonna take a little spoon here, throw a little bit right on top. And that is a Philadelphia cheesesteak.